Hello everyone and welcome to my channel again. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the whole YouTube thing, just you have to just click subscribe and you will get notifications of when I make videos. As you can see here, my daughter does not like getting her hair done. So I'm going to show you some techniques that I use that help her stay nice and still when she's getting her hair done, that are very gentle on her hair, gentle on her scalp, and these are the products that I've created for that purpose. So here is my Healthy Hair Organic Oil. It is called The Crown. You can find it on my Etsy shop at Jaded Bliss Beauty on Etsy. And it has a dropper bottle so you can really be strategic about how much oil that you use because you don't want to use too much. And I just put it in all the exposed areas of her scalp and make sure I close it because the bottle is very slippery once you start to use it. And I just gently massage in the oil in all of her scalp and on the tips of her hair. And as you can see, a little bit does go a long way. And I use this Kids Organics 2-in-1 Tangler, which is a moisturizer and a tangler, detangler, I'm sorry. So you just want to get the hair wet and spray it on all of the areas and use a wide tooth comb to detangle. So there I have some of my whipped shea butter in the scent, The King's Favorite which is chocolate scented and it's just some organic cocoa scent and so it's very light and it's not perfumey at all all natural ingredients no chemicals or colorings so it's really perfect for your hair and obviously you can use it on your skin your body your face whichever place that you would usually moisturize but I've just found out that it is amazing in the hair. So I'm just separating the two parts and then I'll be twisting. Um, and as I'm twisting, I'm also adding more shea butter to my fingers and I'm adding a little bit more oil to my fingers as well, just so that my hair, my um, fingers don't hurt her or pull her hair or tug at any of the loose curls so you just want to keep going all the way down and I'm using a little bit more shea butter to just uh, moisturize all the parts my daughter's hair is pretty much the same texture as mine she has really nice soft curly hair and it is also very thin at times and it's very dry so in order for me to maintain her length and to keep her hair moisturized at all times. I am constantly covering her hair with light oils and light shea butters and staying away from the chemical processed conditioners that they have in the stores because I've actually tried so many of them and I won't name any names, but they have a lot of different chemicals in there that tend to dry out the hair so that is why I decided to make my own because I am obsessed with the way that shea butter works on your skin and your body and your hair is just amazing. So I wanted to create a formula that can be used easily to just coat the hair in a nice moisturizing cream and then also not leave the hair too weighed down and offer a product that has no chemicals in it. So as you can see, it takes me quite a bit of a time to twist just one twisty. Her hair is very long. And She does not like me to do anything to it. 
And that is a problem because when you have really thick curly hair like this, and even if it's not long, if it's thick and curly, if you don't take care of it, it will get matted at the roots and then it will be almost impossible for you to comb it. So um, sometimes I have to really, you know, take my time with her because her hair is such the type that it will get matted if you do not do it every week and if you try to omit putting oils and conditioners and creams in her hair it will not be good so that's why I am doing Um, so what you want to do is take the oil and drip a few drips on the tips of the hair. And that's the most, one of the most important parts, the moisturizer that a lot of people forget about. They tend to stick in the middle and just rub it on the hair. But what I do is I take my oil and I drip it on the tips of her hair. I also do this to my own hair, my son's hair. And you will notice that it's almost like your hair becomes a straw and the oil just gets sucked straight up through your roots, I mean through your tips, and your whole hair is a hundred times more moisturized. So that's what I do. And as you can see, one small section of her hair is that thick. So just imagine if I had her whole hair out of these twisties. I mean, it is a task. I don't want that to be my part-time job, so <laughs> I'm leaving it in twisties because now it's gotten so long to that point where, for the most part, it has to stay completely in a protective style. So yeah, this is actually just me taking some more shea butter and rubbing it in her hair and it is whipped shea butter so um, it's not just the thick shea butter that you tend to see it is whipped with several soft lightly scented organic natural oils to make it melt and not stay stiff so it is not thick at all. If you see, as I started to put it on my fingers, it started to dissolve into oil immediately. So that's really what you want for this type of uh, hair. You want a lot of oil, you want a lot of moisture, and you shouldn't be scared of using something that is highly saturated with oil because that's the way that I was able to grow my daughter's hair so long is because I always uh, soak her hair with oils and cover her tips with oils and put only the best, most natural conditioners that I can find in her hair. So, yeah, I was actually watching a court show, and this is my daughter's room, um, so that's why you see all these toys around. But I had my earphones in and I was watching a court show because the whole time you can't hear her, but she was complaining and she was bribing me and she was trying to get out of it. And she kept getting up and running away just because she, you know, she was watching the TV. So she wanted to jump on the trampoline and play. She's only four years old, so it's to be expected. But if you are a mom or a dad with a daughter who has long hair or even just a daughter with hair, uh, it gets very tedious taking care of their hair because they do not like to sit still. So it's a really big test to keep them still for the amount of time. So the best way to do it is just do it in parts. And as you can see, the two braids that I did at the bottom are the ones that I've completed. And the top of her hair is not completed. That's just um, been washed and conditioned. 
but it hasn't been replatted, so that's why it looks really frizzy and those ones look really nice. So I will be posting more products on there. Now, on my Etsy, I have some uh, organic lip balms, some vegan lip balms, some vegan glitter gloss, which is called a goddess lip topper. I also have some perfume oil that's really amazing. It's incredible. I use it every day myself. I'm obsessed with it. And uh, these oils and scents that I used were inspired by ancient Egypt and royalty and the mindset that we are all royalty and we have a body which is our temple and if you think about it we should take care of our body and our hair and skin more than we take care of anything else because you only get one So that's just more of the uh, shea butter. That's all I'm using is the shea butter and the oil and the detangler. But as I said, you can just use water. It doesn't have to be a special detangler. So as you can see how long her hair is, it's down past the chair and uh, it's still going. It's extremely beautiful and I'm just so proud of her for allowing me to do her hair. <laughs> that sounds so funny, but yeah, you have to respect your children and you have to take care of them with love and not frustration. So if you see that your daughter is fidgeting and she's upset and she doesn't want her hair done, you should try to mitigate that with the use of a lot of water, spraying it constantly with water, make sure that you have a wide tooth comb, uh, make sure that she has something to stay distracted, like a, a phone or a tablet or uh, the television. It's very important that you don't be rough with little girls when you're doing their hair, even if they're older children. You don't want to be rough with their hair because it is just very upsetting for someone to be pulling and tugging on your hair and they will not stop. So for my daughter, I will definitely take my time. I will give her a break. And actually, I only did half of her hair and I let her stop and she was able to go play and jump on the trampoline and do other stuff. But Please, please, please don't ever force your child to get their hair done and pull on their hair to make them sit still. I know it may sound crazy, but there are a lot of people who do that because it was done to them as a child. So that's why I'm showing you the best way to do it so that you're not hurting your child and you're not causing any discomfort. See this already? She doesn't like it. So that's just an example to show you that you have to be soft and you have to be gentle. So I've been giving her multiple kisses and see, she, she doesn't like it, so I have to go super soft. But yeah, she just has crocodile tears because she wants to go play with her toys. But as you can see, she is sitting still again and I did give her a break um, right after I did this. So, yeah. But if you have any other questions and you are interested in my video, 
please check my Etsy page and you can purchase all of these products. So as you can see, it is very long and curly. As you can see, it bounces right back. But in order to keep her curls nice and soft, I do tend to use um, an excess of water and oil even after I've washed her hair. And the best time to put the oil in is when the hair is wet. So if your hair is dry, I would suggest taking a spray bottle and just spraying the tips and then dripping a few drops of the oil on. So that is a flexi rod and basically I am protecting her edges and sealing in the moisture by wrapping it with a flexi rod and it's also going to create a nice little spiral curl. Um, the curls don't last that long unless you would use like a spritz but you just want to secure it tightly, it doesn't hurt at all. And then there I go starting on the next row and this is pretty much how I section it in order to keep her comfortable this is all about her comfortability and keeping her um, still so it is a little tedious to sit there and be so meticulous about not hurting um, any pieces of her hair so that's the reason why this does take a long time and most people who have children with very thick hair will tell you that um, that's one of the reasons why they cut it or they put it in dreadlocks or something like that because children <laughs> most children do not like getting their hair done that's just a general rule unofficially so I'm just really happy with her texture and the way her hair looks it's just gorgeous and that spray is really helpful however you can use water if you don't have a detangler so I gave her a little break for a moment and we're back to detangling it I'm just doing trying to do it as soft as possible by holding on to the top that's just some more shea butter and even if you want a little lighter of an application you can actually take the shea butter and warm it up to where it is more melted like an oil and you can use that in your scalp as a warm treatment and that will really stimulate your follicles and it will stimulate hair growth as well so if you are interested you can warm up your shea butter and you don't even have to put it in a microwave you can just create like a small uh, water bath and put a little bit in a glass or ceramic container and submerge that into water so that it uh, gets really warm and melts and then you can pour that into your scalp or apply it with your fingers it's really actually really nice to apply warm oil into your hair um, from your fingertips it's very relaxing and it's even more relaxing if someone else does it for you so that's one of the things I like to do for my daughter is take the time to massage her hair and <laughs> and just make sure that her scalp is completely <laughs> 
Look, she's wiping off my kiss. This is so funny. But yeah, I definitely take my time to put water and oil on there on the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few little drops. I think I did like four drops. And you wouldn't have to do this on a regular basis. This would basically be your once a month treatment. And you could even do it two times a month. Um, you definitely don't have to do it every day. But these are the products that I use every day because I noticed that my hair seems stronger when I use these mix of oils. Now the hair oil is based with Jamaican black castor oil. It also contains flaxseed oil, organic flaxseed oil, which is amazing for the hair. As you see how curly her tips became and moisturized compared to the other one. The whiteness that you see from the shea butter that completely dries and that goes away so you won't see that in your hair when you put the shea butter in your hair. And there are no lumps or little tiny pieces. It's just completely smooth and it goes completely creamy um, into oil. So don't worry about that. But the, the special part about the hair oil is that it is infused with rose quartz crystals and there are seven in each bottle so it does have a certain vibration of love and self um, care to it because that's what rose quartz crystal do for you so thank you for watching if you have any more questions Feel free to hit my Instagram or send me an email.